Tonight I'm talking about home modifications. Home modifications are structural changes to houses and homes, such as uh, the addition of ramps, changes to bathrooms, or even the addition of a handrail to enable people to remain in their homes. And tonight I'd invite you to think positively and practically about an aspect of our lives that many of us dread, and that's getting old or getting sick and needing care to get through each day. Care is such a complex topic because on the one hand, it's integral to the human condition. It's how we express our love, our compassion, our empathy. But on the other hand, care can be unwanted. And for particularly, particularly for people who are older, or might be living with a disability, a reliance on care can leave people feeling powerless or with a sense of loss of dignity. My research lies at the intersection of housing and health, and more specifically, I'm measuring how home modifications directly impact the amount of care that's required in people's homes and their levels of well-being. I research 157 Australian community care clients, all of whom are receiving some kind of care before they receive their home modifications. And what I found is significant. I found that after home modifications, people are needing an average of 42% less care, and their health-related quality of life is increasing by an average of 40%. And this increase in quality of life can be further explained in the stories that I um, examined from all of the participants, the individual stories, where people told me that home modifications liberated them and they were liberated because they felt more independent. They needed less care. Their relationships changed. Care was stress reduced. And they participated more in the community. Now, this research informs on two levels. Firstly, on a broader level, it tells us that housing policy really should be considered alongside health policy, particularly as Australia is rolling out major care reform like the National Disability Insurance Scheme and My Aged Care. But what's become obvious to me is that this research is about us and the places where we live. And it affects every single person in this room. And far from being morose, what these results tell us that is that whatever life throws at us, whatever, however our health changes throughout our life, that the ability to benefit from accessible built environments can mean the difference of living with greater independence, healthier relationships and greater quality of life. Thank you.